ALABAMA FORESTRY COMMISSION ISSUED A BURN ADVISORY FOR SIX COUNTIES IN THE WIREGRASS THIS EVENING. WITH THAT BEING SAID, A NEARBY VOLUNTEER FIRE DEPARTMENT IS LOOKING FOR MORE VOLUNTEERS DURING THIS TIME OF COVID-19, AS WELL AS THE HOT AND DRY CONDITIONS. ROBERT SMITH HAS THAT STORY. With no rain and the dry conditions we have been experiencing, fires can be more prevalent in the area, such as last week's wildfire in Walton County. They did, they issued a stage one, level one burn advisory, which is just an advisory saying that if you can wait to burn, it's the best to wait to burn. The conditions are very favorable of wildfires. And uh, you know it can it can get bad really quick. While being in hot temperatures, along with dealing with COVID-19, it has been a crucial time for volunteer fire department. Rehoboth's Fire and Rescue has about 15 volunteers total, and are looking for more to suit up. The main thing is just we need people that want to help the community. I mean it, it it's a it's a hard thing to do because it's. Just time away from your family, time away from your friends, whatever it may be. But we definitely need volunteers, you know, ready to respond at any time. And speaking of any time, we asked Chief Floyd if a wildfire was to happen in Houston County, what would be the routine? Uh, we'd get on scene, do a size up on it, see what our resources were, what we needed. Uh, and of course, if it's something that we can't handle in hardwoods, pines, Something that we can't make access to, we would definitely call for the Forestry Commission. Covering local news first in Rehoboth, Robert Smith, WDHN. Chief Floyd says the whole county is in need of volunteer firefighters, and if you are looking to join Rehoboth's Fire and Rescue, you can visit the fire department to learn more.